Hi, and welcome to my Amagurumi Manta Ray no so tutorial. What you will need is a four stitch markers, two that are different colours if you want to mark the fins and the where the eyes go and where the tail goes. You'll also need a 3.5 size hook to 4.5, so four is in the middle, that'd be perfect. Some chenille yarn in two colours, you'll need less of one colour than the other. The main colour you'll need is for the body. And you'll need to know the stitches increase, decrease, single crochet, chain and working in the round as a method. And you'll need safety eyes that are 12mm or lower depending on your preference or higher depending on your preference. And a keychain if you want to add one. The terminology you'll need to know for this, as I said before, is chain, decrease, fasten off, increase, single crochet and slip stitch. These have their short terms here, so if you need to come back to this part of the video, I'll see if I can link it into the description below. And that's all you really need to know for these. These are some alternates alternatives to a magic ring, obviously there's the magic ring itself which is a common method used to start working in the round it can be hard for beginners, especially working with chenille yarn because it can break while you're trying to close it you also have a chain 2 there is also the chain 2 method in which you work on the lowest chain and there's the chain 3 slip stitch together which forms a little ring, but it can leave a little hole in the top of your work. Only a small one, you can normally seal that back up with sewing it. So for round one, you'll be chaining two and working in the lowest chain away from the hook. And you'll be putting six single crochets in there. Obviously this is in US terms. Round two, you'll be doing six increases into those original stitches, so make sure you put your stitch marker in before you get started. So you know what point you're getting to when you get around to it. For round three, you are doing one single crochet and one increase. And you'll be doing this six times, so make sure you move your stitch marker up around so you can see where you're getting around to. Round four is 18 increases around, so you just increase every stitch. Make sure you move your stitch marker so you know where you're getting to at the end, because this is going to get a bit confusing towards the end. But Round five to six, you're just going to single crochet around 36 times, so that's how many stitches you should have in your round. And then you slip stitch into the next stitch after you've done the two rows, and you fasten off. Alright, for the second half of your manta ray, i.e. the second circle, you're going to need to repeat those rows, so I'm going to read them out here again. Round 1 is chain 2, 6 single crochet in the first loop. Round 2 is 6 increases, which will give you 12 stitches. Round 3 is 1 single crochet, 1 increase times 6, to give you 18 stitches. And round 4 is 18 increases, to give you 36 in total. Remember to move your stitch marker after every round, and I'll see you back here in a minute, once that's all done. Next we're on to the last part of those rounds, which are row 5 to 6, which is SC around, a single crochet, 36 times, for 2 rounds, so 5 and 6, and then slip stitch and fasten off. Alright, so here you're going to get your 2 halves and you're going to see there's very defined stitches on the outside so you put the insides together which are the ones with the less defined stitches and then you're going to fold it in half and see where the middle is and you're going to mark with two of the same color stitch marker and then you're going to fold it the other way and do the same basically so that you have your fins and your tail and where your eyes are going to be laid out. Sometimes you'll have to wiggle these around so they look straight to you but as long as you've got the four, four quarters marked you'll be able to see where you're putting things. Alright for part two of putting this together 
you will start four stitches before your first stitch marker where you want your eyes and you will crochet your sides together i have showed how you put your yarn through to be able to start single crocheting so you go through all four all four loops both sides and then you just single crochet together for putting this together part two you will start four stitches before the first stitch marker and single crochet both sides together so you loop your thread in like seen in the picture and you will work in the top half colour so whatever colour you want prominently in your piece after 10 stitches you will add the eyes about three to four spaces apart putting together part three when you reach three quarters of the way around the ray when you've done basically single crochet all the way around apart from like the part last quarter you should stuff the manta and single crochet to go all the way around and close it that's all you need to know for this bit the for this part you're going to sc around but before you get when you get to two stitches before that second stitch marker you are going to count the next five single crochets into the main piece and then you're going to chain and turn for the round two of the fin you're going to five single crochet and chain and then turn again and then for round three you're going to decrease four single crochet and chain again and then turn and then for round four you're going to four single crochet chain and turn for round five you are going to chain and turn then decrease single crochet and chain and turn then for round six you're going to decrease single crochet chain and turn then for round seven you're going to decrease chain and turn and then for round eight you're just going to do one single crochet and then you're going to crochet down the side towards where the tail is which is your next stitch marker four spaces before you get to the tail you're going to count the next eight single crochets then you're going to chain and turn then for round two you're going to eight single crochet and then chain and turn and then for round three you're going to decrease six single crochet chain and turn and then for round four you're going to three single crochet decrease two single crochet chain and turn for round five you're going to Two single crochet decrease two single crochet chain and turn and then for round six you're going to one single crochet decrease two single crochet chain and turn and then for round seven you're going to single crochet decrease one single crochet chain and turn and then you're going to for round eight one single crochet decrease chain and turn for round nine you're going to decrease and then you're going to chain and turn for round 10 you're just going to single crochet again and then you're going to sc down the tail towards the next and last stitch marker that you're going to do which will be your last fin for the last set of fins you're going to single crochet around to just before the last stitch marker two stitches before and then you're going to count five single crochets and then you're going to chain and turn then you're going to five single crochet and chain and then turn again and then for round three you're going to decrease four single crochet chain and turn and then for round four you're going to four single crochet and chain and turn for round five you're going to decrease two single crochet chain and turn again and then round six is decrease single crochet chain and turn round seven is decrease and then a chain and then a turn and then round eight is single crochet and then you're going to single crochet down the side towards the last the starting point and then you're going to single crochet until you meet your starting point and then you're going to slip stitch in to the next stitch and then you're going to fasten off and weave in any ends and remove any stitch markers from the plush and then you're all done thank you for watching this video and 
making a manta ray with me. Now, if you can, leave a like and a comment below. I'd love to see your work, so tag me in social media posts. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.